Hi, today I want to show you how to create light rays in PhotoP. Let's take a look at our photo. There are some very little highlights in the background. So from there, we can create our sun rays. First, let's create a gradient view. Click here on the top gradient view. And there are lots of gradient fields we can choose from. In order to create light rays, we should choose angle. Here, style, let's click angle, and it will look like this. By adjusting the X and Y, we can change its position. And in order to look clearly, let's lower the opacity first. And like I just said, because the light should come from here. So we should position it on the top. Let's change the X and Y. Maybe from this little hole here. Okay, so now we have the correct positioning. Let's change our opacity back to 100%. And now we can also change the color by clicking gradient. Now the type is normal. We should change it to noise. And now you have a lot of colors to choose from. You can click randomize and choose whatever we want. Click OK. However, now the effect is too strong and the colors are not right. In order to lower the, the effect, let's change the mixing mode to screen. So now we have something like this. This looks more like what we want. And in order to change the colors of the rays, let's add a hue and saturation layer from here hue and saturation and click colorize now by changing the hue here we can change the color of our sun rays maybe we want it to be more greenish and a little bit yellow so yeah, maybe something like this. Okay, and now because we want this hue and saturation layer only affect our gradient layer and not to affect our background. So here we should press clipping mask. And you will notice there is a little arrow pointing down. It means that it will only affect the layer below it. Now it is looking better but the effect is still very strong. So what we're going to do now is to create a mask. And we want that mask to have a very soft edge. And now because we want the, the mask to affect both of these layers, so what we can do is to group both of them together. We press Ctrl plus G and now we have a folder. And we can simply click the layer and add a raster mask. Now what we're going to do is to make the center of the rays visible, but the outer it is, the less visible it will be. So we're going to use the gradient tool. But this time we're going to choose the radio and we're going to use only the black and white. Remember, in masks, white means visible and black means invisible. Press OK and just drag it from here, from the center, drag it all the way to here. And now this is looking more like what we want. If you want the mask to be bigger, you can just drag it again drag it all the way here. And now you have a bigger mask. 
So now we have something like this. It's already looking great. But if you still think the effect is too strong, you can always change the opacity. Change the opacity of this layer until you think it is suitable. And then, because the shape of the rays, perhaps it's not what you want. So we can always change, click here, gradient here. Remember, we have a lot of shapes we can choose from. Just click randomize. And now you will notice that the shape of the rays are changing. Just pick whatever you want. OK, maybe this is what I want. Press OK. And now this is our result. Let's do a comparison. This is our before and this is after. OK, if you like today's lesson, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.